just made it back and we went ahead and just pulled this cover off just to check everything and look at this dude what is up guys welcome back to the channel so today we are actually going to pick up a brand new build something that we've never done before well it's something super unique and uh, we actually have to go pick it up because I accidentally threw a pre-bid on it and without pressing any buttons we won it so this is something pretty exciting because we won it for around 1800 bucks so let's just hit the road and show you guys exactly what we got guys we made it to nashville tennessee what do you say so far it's busy it's real busy so we're actually not gonna go get the boat we're gonna go ahead and say we got a boat because it'll probably be the thumbnail before we get the boat we're gonna actually check out nashville here do a little bit of exploring check out those little scooters we've never i've never tried those scooters out we gotta go visit our friends over there at florida georgia line house yes man i heard about them nachos dude you heard right. It's like a big old pile of nachos like that, and they're delicious. So let's do it. Man, Nashville is booming. It's pretty cool out here. So we're gonna do some exploring and see what we can find. Alrighty, guys. So we just paid thirty-five dollars for two hours of parking right here. That is expensive. That's expensive, but you know what? Look at this big old city. Look at it. Let's, let's find go, some scooters, let's dude. Go find some electric scooters. They say that the birds are the best, and the limes. Those are limes, the green ones. So. Let's go ahead and test the brakes on it. Let's get this sucker rented. Whoa! This is dangerous. First time on a bird on a on a bird and out here doing it with one hand. So it's kind of hard to film one-handed, but we're having a blast out here, dude. Things are pretty fast, but dangerous. <laughs> Very dangerous. About busted a couple times, but just loving the, the scenery here in Nashville. Oh yeah, it's let's beautiful. go. Let's go down that way. Getting him sticky, man, because he's about to just yeah, launch. It's hot out here, so I gotta get him sticky so I don't fall because it's dangerous to fall. So right, and this going. thing is a front wheel drive, man. They yeah. should have made it a rear wheel so you could or pop some wheel. Wheel drive. Both wheel front and what do you Two even call that? Two wheel drive. <laughs> Two wheel drive. I try to top it out. Won't go over 15 miles. Yeah, an they hour. go 15. I thought they used to go. They might have tweaked it down a little bit. I heard yeah. they used to go like 30. A lot of people have been getting hurt. So. Yeah, I mean they're pretty dangerous. I gotta say. Especially at, at 15 miles an hour, they're dangerous. I can't imagine 30, but. Especially on cobblestone. Oh, this cobblestone, real dangerous. But let's keep on searching for our food joint. It's supposed to be called Florida Georgia Line Nachos. Yeah, FGL house, uh, but it's, I think it opens up in like 20 minutes. So we're gonna cruise around until these things can't take it anymore. So. <laughs> I don't know, did they run out of battery? Oh, this thing has full bars. Let me see if mine. Yeah, mine has full bars too, so let's just have some fun, really. Let's do it. Ooh, look at this, we got little jars. This is lemon. Southern hospitality. <laughs> That's right. I'm supposed to squeeze it, but I'm just going to place it just for looks. <laughs> but what do you say to get a fire? The dirty kettle chips right there. Honestly, we do not we know do not what, it, sight, what condition it is. Sight unseen. I don't know what condition it is at all. So let's go see what we can do. Uh, hopefully they let us drive back there and just hook it up. 
hook hey, up the call. trailer, yeah, because we don't we didn't come with the trailer. We just want to hook it up and uh, be done. Oh. Look, at, look at that sketchy job right there. But you got to do what you got to do. All right, so we just went ahead and paid. Now they're telling us to just drive around back and turn left at the motorcycle. So let's see what this is all about. Hopefully we don't get nothing in our tire. Oh, I know, man. These places are sketchy. Look at this E71. Is this a diesel? We need this little truck. Yep, Duramax. I want, I want the newer one, though. Newer front end. Dang, got bikes for days. Look at that RCR over there. It's pretty Dang, sad. dude. I'm going to keep my eye out on that one. All right, where's your boat? <laughs> Dang, dude. That semi's down there getting something. That semi's getting him a big one. Trailer, ain't it? Look at that RZR, dude. Looks sick. Got a couple holes in it. This is, this is sketchy territory. Well, good thing we got brand new tires on this truck right now. Let's keep on moving. I see a little yellow trailer, I think. Dang, dude. That's look at that. Move. The weight tower goes up and down. I wonder how they will load that up if you buy that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. That's a good question. That's what the reason why we didn't buy one of those. Yeah. We yeah. found one with the trailer and ready to go. That looks like a pretty uh, nice one. This one sold for like over 10 grand. Right? Really? Yeah. It's clean. No. Oh, right here she is, boys. Dang, <laughs> she said there. sideways. First time ever seeing her. Dang, actually looks pretty clean so far. Keep coming. All right, let's take a look at her before we swap out that hitch. Oh man, she got bumped over. Dang, let's see. Got a few scratches. I thought there was like a big old damage here. What's oh, she looking man. like here? She got hit pretty hard. Dang. Hopefully this trailer will make it. Yeah. Um, we may have to take uh, one of these tires off jack it up just and ride on one axle there's there's a few metal pieces that are touching the tire we're gonna have to jack it up take it off and hammer that stuff back we we'll grab some hammers and then Man. then we'll worry about the rest of the boat Let's do a little quick walk around it looks like the engine or this uh what do you call this oh. I, I thought this would have been damaged but it looks like to be in good condition we got some extra oil we got a we nine got six, a 916 not a 10 millimeter yeah this thing got shifted over let's see the interior though pretty clean got some water in it right now I want oh, to check we're not out. worried about that is the engine here dang she's got some water right here we need to hit them drain plugs on her yeah go ahead hit the drain plug right now let me see if i can find it oh where is the drain plug oh it's one of them hard drain plugs we're gonna have to drain it later you can't find them i found that you got to have an adjustable wrench and just you know where what i'm talking about right there in the middle might have this is probably what this is for if this will fit she's gonna need some love but i think we're gonna make her look good once we're done with her let's see how much water comes out tons i know there is a good bit but luckily it didn't get like too high and luckily the engine is there because it wasn't there on pictures i don't know i didn't see no engine <laughs> it's still got a cover oh on. yeah that's true but anyways that's a uh that's a, I'll probably let's bring the jack out here first. Jack this up. I'm gonna take that wheel off and straighten the metal behind it so we won't get no rubbing or anything. Let's do it. Nah, she's stuck. We need to get a jack right there in the middle. Jack it up. You wanna twist her or you wanna just carry her how she is? I say just carry her how we she is. We need to jack it up, put it on as best as possible. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. I was thinking either that or strap it up. But yeah, let's take that wheel off, jack it up, and uh, get it, get that tire from not rubbing. We got Mariah Carey here. She's a beauty. We got some plans for her. We're definitely gonna get rid of this color, but let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Let's make it home first. Let's make it home. That's right. of the car that hit it. These tires are dry rotted like crazy, so. Hopefully we can make it back. Hopefully we can make it back and they don't pop on us.
We spent about an hour trying to figure out this hitch, man. This hitch so rusted. It's that. it's hydraulic also. It's rusted and it's got the hydraulic system the built in it. Yeah, the whatever brakes. it's called. So hopefully the brakes are not locked up, but if we have to, we'll cut the lines. Not a big deal. This truck will stop this thing. But right now we're gonna try to pull it out of this lot, get it out there, and see how it rolls. Basically. Yeah. Let's see. Hopefully it's not locked up. Go for it. Yeah, we're not gonna worry about the way the boat is sitting because we tried maneuvering it and it's just impossible. He's gonna be bobbing. She's a bobber. Yes, sir. Dang. That sucker went sideways. Alrighty, guys, so we got her loaded up. We're hitting the road already. It's a little bit sketchy of what's going on back there. I think we're missing a pin for the trailer brake or something yeah and it's but, like sliding pretty good like the the hitch is made to slide to uh to uh we'll turn on the braking yeah but ours is not sliding i mean it's sliding freely but not a big deal and try to get the sucker home the boat is sitting sideways very sketchy and but, all four tires are dry rotted yeah i'm gonna pull over and check everything before we do anything and before we hit the highways we're gonna do it just a quick double check and we are off time for some highway speeds Good thing it's actually raining. It's not gonna warm our tires up too much. Yeah, it's gonna keep it all cool. <laughs> Some tires cool, but we do not want to have a blowout. We do have one spare tire. Yeah, we do have one. one. So we got one tire that we can pop, but hopefully it doesn't happen. So let's try to get it home. We're about two, two, two hours, two hours and thirteen minutes. We should be good to go. Dang, it's heavy too. Yeah, I wonder how it opened up. Oh, it's got some off. But look, oh, strap it down. Yeah. Right here, look at that. Dude, that is so sick. Nice, go do the other one. Quick. Go, go, go. Little, little swamp water, but ain't nothing we can't take care of. See if it'll start. No power. No power. All right, we'll look at it at the house. <laughs> All right, so quick little pit stop. We had another little issue, our, uh, what do you call those, wireless trailer lights. One of them actually popped off, the magnet was weak. Yeah, popped off, busted on the highway. We need our lights, because it's raining and... This is dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous, and you can get pulled over for no trailer lights, so we don't want none of that. We're gonna go ahead, we bought new ones, but they're not the wireless ones, so we're gonna have to extend our wire, because they're not long enough. Yeah, it's a 25 foot wire, but this big old gap right here, we needed five more feet, and they just didn't have any extensions long enough so we're just gonna have to rig something up here and hopefully it works but i've got it uh, yeah i think he's got it too so let's uh let's do this and hit the road and hopefully make it back safely let's do it So we just made it back and we went ahead and just pulled this cover off just to check everything and look at this dude 5.0 liter we didn't even know if there was an engine in here honestly yep nothing at all but i can't believe it's a 5.0 i've never had a boat with a 5.0 maybe like 4.2 4.3 but right now what we're about to do is actually take this battery out because this boat has no power whatsoever so we have a boat battery right here a marine battery so let's connect that real quick and see if this thing will fire up or even light anything up you know i want something to turn on yes sir let's do it let's do it all right so we just connected the battery go ahead and flip that switch see if it does anything let's see moment of truth Ooh, that's what i'm talking about right there what do i do Gotta now make sure it's in neutral Trim working. Yep. Trim works. Oh yeah. Dude, it sounds good, don't it? Does. Is there a is there a, a choke on this thing? There should be. Come over here and try starting it. I don't know nothing about boats. Right. My brother Alex, he's in, he's got the magic touch. He's been dealing with boats for a while now. Almost. I don't know what that there we go. Dang, son! <laughs> thing fired right up. Eighteen hundred bucks, man. That's that's a good deal, I think. 
We're gonna check everything out and then probably make it our goal to get it off on the lift or something. Uh, it'd be nice to see if this thing will fit between the lift. If it does, we're gonna lift it up, pull the trailer out and try to uh, fix the trailer up a little bit. If not, we may have to just take it to the lake, drop it in the water. <laughs> All right guys, so it is starting to storm right now, but we got it covered up. We're just gonna have to catch you guys tomorrow. All right guys, so it is the next day. We got this boat halfway pulled into the garage because we really can't get it right on the lift because just how it's all sitting. But what we're gonna do is actually try to lift the back end up with just using the lift to see if we can just straighten it out a little bit. And once we get it at least a little bit straight, we might be able to pull it all the way in and lift the boat up completely up in the air, pull this trailer off, and then try to repair it because as you can tell, it's pretty damaged pretty badly. So we're gonna try to get this thing repaired as soon as possible, hopefully get it out on the water today. So let's not waste any time and try to get this thing fixed. So we finally got this boat sitting straight on the trailer as straight as we possibly can because the trailer is still a little bit bent But this should be good to go We did some redneck engineering and got this thing sitting on there pretty so now what we're actually gonna do is move on to the inside of this boat We're actually gonna clean this up a little bit use some detailing supplies get this thing shining as best as possible Vacuum it up and do whatever we can try to figure this boat out what every switch does before we actually hit the lake So let's hop on to the interior and get this thing all cleaned up We got a huge mess going on here, but we finally got the boat outside, sitting straight, cleaned up on the interior a little bit, not full, not all out, but it looks good. Check that out. Man, she's ready for the water, ain't she? She's ready. She's bright too after we cleaned her, man. Oh yeah. But that's probably going to be for the next video on the boat. Definitely going to be the next video we're going to take this sucker to the water. And let y'all guys see how this thing flies. How's that boy right there holding up? Holding up pretty dang good, man. That's probably the sturdiest board on this. <laughs> but we need to get this thing on a frame machine. Get sh either that or start looking for a new trailer. Yeah, and we did find a brand new one. They're really pricey. More than the boat. Yeah, more <laughs> than we paid for the boat. So we may have to find a used one or try to fix this. Maybe get it up on a frame machine and get it all straightened out. Yeah, because you can see right there, one of the wheels is uh, the rear axle there is a little bit pushed over. The whole trailer, I think, is a little bit pushed over. Yeah but not a big deal as long as it sits on there and uh, gets in the water and back out. Hopefully there's no holes in the boat and there's no leaks, but if there is, if there's like a slight leak, um, what is that, a hole? I think that's a hole for there's a little cooler in there. We're gonna have to pour water in there and test everything out, see if everything's flowing right. Yeah, there's a pump on here, so if there's like a little slow leak, it'll be yeah, all right. Yeah, there's but a dang, pump. dude, look how clean that looks. Dude, it looks super good. It looks like a, almost like a brand new boat. 
All right, so that is gonna be a wrap for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, but man, we got a lot of plans for this boat. This is just something that we're gonna have fun with, and we're just gonna build it along with you guys. We got a lot of big plans for it, so be sure to stay tuned. Make sure your post notifications are on. Also guys, be sure to stay tuned for the next video where we put this thing in the water and hopefully not sink it. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Goon Squad where you can get an inside scoop there before YouTube. And if you want to support your boys, be sure to visit GoonSquad.com and copy some merch. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments down below and we'll catch you next time. Peace.